Hey crafters, guess what? I bought tacky glue. Yes, we are going to be using tacky glue in today's project, and we are going to be making pumpkins using toilet paper rolls. Now before you go, what in the world? Toilet paper pumpkins, what? Let me explain. Actually, you know what? Let me just show you. Aww. So we are going to be making these super simple pumpkins using just a few supplies. We're going to need tissue paper, we're going to need a clothespin, I've got some fake leaves from the dollar store, these are some of those ones left over from that video. I'll put the link right up there. And then the last of all, we will need some tacky glue as I mentioned, and we will need just a bit of twine or rope. I'm using some of this rope that I've unraveled from my bigger string. So I'm going to show you how I assembled this pumpkin, and we're also going to make an orange one. So the first thing we want to do in working on this project is we want to start with gluing our leaves onto the rope like these ones are because the glue is going to take a little bit of time to dry. So I've got a piece here, I'm going to cut another piece, and I'm just going to use a little bit of tacky glue and I'm going to glue some of these leaves on. A cool idea what I'm going to do for this one is you can double layer the leaves just to give it some texture and some shape. So because I'm double layering these two leaves, I'm gonna put a little bit of glue between them and then I'll glue them onto the end of the rope. Another pro tip with tacky glue, if you wanna apply pressure while you're waiting for it to dry, get out a clothespin. You can hold it in place for you. So I'm gonna glue on the end of the rope and then I'll put the clothespin on there to hold it all in place. So I'll let this one sit to dry, and I'll get my next one glued on. Now it's time to get out our roll of toilet paper. All right, so here we go. I've got my tissue paper, and I've got two rolls of toilet paper. So I'm going to show you two different methods. The reason I'm showing you two different methods is because this is literally all the orange tissue paper I had, so I had to improvise, but it actually turns out really cute, these two techniques. Also, you'll notice that this tissue paper is cut up, so I'm showing you some options of just ways to get different looks, and also if you don't have full sheets of tissue paper to show that, hey, this project will still work. So let's start with the orange tissue paper. I'm gonna set my piece right there and set my toilet paper roll right in the middle. And then, it's pretty simple, I'm just gonna tuck the top in like so. Now when you do that, it might want to pop out. Well that's okay. Just tuck it back in there. See? Just like that. It pops out. That's okay. We'll make it stay in the end. I'm going to get my next piece and I'm going to run it perpendicular to the first piece. So if the first piece went this way, I'm going to run this one this way. And again, just tuck it into the top. And now I'm going to fill in right here and right here with my next two sheets. Again, I set the roll of toilet paper in the middle, tuck it in, toilet paper in the middle, tuck it in. And that's all that we need to do to wrap it. You can see that some sides might be a little flat, so we can just pull this under a little bit more. I can pull off the sides. You can always kind of twist it along the bottom. So that way you get more ridges. If there's any spots where your toilet paper is sticking out, just score it out the tissue paper to cover it. You can crinkle it, you can fluff it, just get it to look however you want. And that's all we need to do for now with our toilet paper. You might notice that up, it's still popping out. That's okay, we're gonna deal with that in a moment. But this is the tissue paper step. I'll show you the tissue paper with the two big sheets and then I'll show you how to make it stay down. So here I was trying to go for an orangish look. So I started with a sheet of red and then I found a sheet of yellow. And I'm just gonna stack these two right on top of each other. So it's gonna end up looking more yellow than orange, but because we'll be seeing through it, it'll kind of give it that orangish tone almost. So I'm gonna line these two up pretty roughly. They don't have to be exactly even. Find the rough center of my sheets of tissue paper and set the toilet paper roll right in there. I'm gonna start at the corner and I'm going to tuck this side in. And then I'm gonna to come to the next corner. We'll tuck all this under, tuck it in. Come to the next corner, tuck it in. And come to the last one, tuck it in. Now, you might end up with some weird spots like that, so that's okay. Just tuck, tuck, tuck. And fluff anywhere you want to. Create more of that pumpkin look to give it those like lines and ridges that go up. 
You can always untuck a little bit, change how you tuck it in there. And that's the basic way to wrap it with the big sheets of tissue paper. Last thing we need to do is add our stems and our leaves. So you have a couple options with your stems. I'm using clothespins. You can either just get a basic clothespin and just stick it in there and use the top, or if you want, you can wrap some extra rope around the top of the clothespin just to give it some more texture. So I chose to wrap some extra rope around the top of this one. I'm gonna also grab my leaves. I have these ones already glued together. I'm just gonna tuck that end in there. Tuck this end in here as far in as I want it to go. And then pop this guy in the center. Just the leaves that I want to look. And that's all there is to it. I'll get the next one tucked in here. So here we have our leaves. So again, I'm just gonna tuck this tissue paper in. Tuck the tail ends of my leaves into here. You can even leave like an extra piece hanging out if you want. And then I'm just gonna take a clothespin and slide it right in the middle. And the clothespin is what's going to keep the tissue paper from popping back out. If there's a lot of gap because the tissue paper isn't filling it in really well, you can always hide another clothespin down in there just to help hold everything in so the tissue paper doesn't come untucked. But that's all there is to it. Now you've made these super cute, super easy toilet paper pumpkins. I hope you enjoyed making these pumpkins. What I think is so awesome about these as fall decorations is A, it's a way to put decorations in the bathroom without being like, oh, is it gonna be bad if it gets wet? Is it gonna be destroyed, blah, 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 because you know, toilet paper kind of belongs in the bathroom. And also what's super nice is at the end of the season, when you're done with this project, you just unwrap the tissue paper, take out the clothespin, take out the leaves, and all you have to store are the tissue paper, the leaves, and the clothespin. That's it. The toilet paper, obviously, you can use afterwards, but it's super nice because you can have this really easy yet really cute project for the fall without needing to take up a lot of space to store it. So I love this project because it's so simple and it has a lot of great features. Like, you don't really have to store it because you just use the toilet paper at the end of the season and next year you have a new roll. So thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure if you haven't subscribed to my channel already that you hit the big red subscribe button down below. Also hit the thumbs up on the video if you enjoyed it. And of course, always, if you have any thoughts or you want to tell me how this project went for you, definitely leave those comments down below. I love hearing from my crafters. But I hope you all have an awesome week. Keep enjoying this hopefully fall weather. I'm hoping it's going to stay. But I hope you all have a great week. Happy crafting. Okay, here's a random piece of trivia. This is a 16 ounce bottle of tacky glue. And at Walmart, this was twice as expensive as 48 ounces of ketchup. So apparently ketchup is cheaper than tacky glue in case you were wondering. Go figure.